So for today's video, we're back in Dungeon of Doom, Quarantine Central. And we have this Dell monitor. It's a 22-inch Dell monitor that powers up, but will not display a picture. Suspect that it's an issue of bad caps on the power board. It's causing the backlight to go out. But we'll go ahead and crack it open, take a look at it, and see if that's the case. And if that's the case, we'll go ahead and replace those bad caps and see if we can get it to work. So let's get started. So what we're looking at here is a uh, Dell 22-inch monitor, a 2208WFPT, and there's some more details on it from the labels on the bottom. And we're going to tear into it and see if we can't get it to work. I'm not going to do the teardown portion of it on the video because it's a real pain in the butt. And there's other people I'm sure who can do it much better than me because I know I'm going to end up breaking half of it and I don't want to give the false impression that uh, I know what I'm doing on this because I really don't and it's probably going to be ugly. So maybe what I'll do is I'll link a, in the comments below, I'll link to a teardown video so you can see exactly how to take it apart. It is a major pain. I've taken these apart before to fix them, and they're not fun. You'd think, oh, no, there's just four screws right there. Uh-uh. There's all these plastic tabs and that. These two girls come off. This whole back comes off. It's a lot of stuff to it. And to be honest with you, I'll probably end up breaking these. I'll have to tape it back on, and it'll look really bad. So, anyhow, why don't we get it apart and... See what's on the power board. I went ahead and took it all apart and that and put the screen over to the side. Usually, when these monitors stop working, it's because of bad caps in the power supply. So, I pulled the power supply out here, and I don't know if you can see this or not. But right here, there's a bulging cap here. And there's a really bad bulging cap right there. I thought there was one more, but I guess not. So anyway, I did get replacement caps for those. So we're going to desolder those and we'll replace them and see if that corrects our problem. I got replacement caps here for those. So the two caps here that are bad are, I don't know if you can see that. Boy, this thing will not focus. Yeah, 330 microfarad, 35 volt. And then, of course, boy. 30 microfarad, 35 volt. So let's get the desoldering iron out and get these bad caps out and get them replaced.
right, so one cap down. All right, so we got both caps removed. Oh, where'd the other one go? The other one's right there. No, that was the first one or second one. right over here right there I'm gonna probably go ahead and replace all of the other ones with the same same style the same thing because they may not be bad now but at some point they probably will go bad so I'm gonna just go ahead and knock them all out there's these two here, and then one here. And I think that's it. Yeah. I mean, these look fine, but while you're in there, you might as well replace them, so. All right, so new caps are in place, making sure that the negative, as you can see on the board here, there's basically white and black. Uh, negative is the black on these. So you always want to compare it to the, uh, you know, the cap that was in there before. All the caps on this board, though, if you look at the negative, they're all pointing toward the uh, black side. Those are ones that replace black there so on and so forth but you want to double check and make sure double check your work make sure all of the negatives are pointing toward black and then you flip the board over and you just solder them in This is really horrible solder, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna try to find my other solder. This is just junk. All right, well, that was some crappy solder, but we got it done. Um, what we're going to do now, we'll go ahead and cut the leads off, the long pointy parts off here. And uh, put it back together and see if it works. All right, well, I got everything put back together. Just enough, you know, to test it. It's still not cased but I put the uh, face cover on it so that I can hit the power button so why don't we plug it in see if we get any signs of life at all, all right, there's the plug yeah let's see here power button lights up green oh that's a good sign wait where to go Okay, it's saying that it doesn't have uh, anything plugged into it. Uh, let's see. Maybe I can hook up my laptop here.
All right, and so there you have it. Fully functional monitor again, just by changing a couple of caps. A couple of things I will say about this project. Yeah, you can tell. These cases are next to impossible to take apart. And they're only slightly easier to put back together. But, and even when you put them back together, sorry, it just, I'm in the power saving mode. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I can't even see. Okay, anyway. When you do put them together, the pieces don't tend to, it's kind of hard to tell here, the pieces don't tend to exactly fit the way they used to, so just be prepared for that. It's really next to impossible to get them back together perfectly. So all we need to do is really clean this up, clean up the fingerprints off of it, and it's ready to go. So, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.